In this movie, we'll be talking about the iStar camera. With the introduction of Cyclone 9.1.2, images from the iStar Fusion camera can be directly imported into Cyclone. The iStar camera is good at taking images anywhere from low light situations to brightly lit situations. This video will go over how to set up the camera, take images, and import them into Cyclone. As mentioned before, these are the four steps that we will talk about in this movie series. Step 1. Let's talk about setting up the camera. When you unpack the iStar camera, there will be three major components to the system. There's the camera head, there's the adjustable yoke, as well as the tri brac puck. Of course, there's all sorts of accessories and chargers that come with the system as well. So one of the first things you're going to need to do is when you take this camera out of the bag is you're going to need to apply an adapter for the adjustable yoke. There are two that are supplied in package. The one you need is the smaller of the two. Just make sure that the thread of this adapter fits the top of the adjustable yoke. The next thing you'll need to do is adjust the adjustable yoke to fit the height of the scanner. This when you take this piece out of the packaging, it will be fully collapsed. What you'll need to do is loosen the two screws that are on the base and then increase the middle portion so that it is up to 35 millimeters. This is the offset that you need for the C10 and the PXX series scanners. Next, we need to put the SD card into the camera. Take it out of its packaging and place it into the camera here. Last thing we need to do is charge the camera. Take out the charger, make sure it has the correct plug on there. Take your camera, open up the 12 volt rubber seal and plug it into the slot as shown. You should charge it for about four to six hours before using it for the first time. Once charged, we need to adjust some of the settings. Simply flip the camera over till you see the rubber cover, open it and push the little switch to the on position. Flip the camera over to the top, touch the top of the screen and a little message will come up. You'll need to follow its directions to actually turn it on and have the camera boot up. Simply touch the four corners of the screen as directed. Once booted up, the screen will look like this. We need to go into the settings. This is the little gear wheel. Go ahead and tap that. The only thing we need to change here is the time. So go ahead and tap the little clock icon and we'll get to the time settings. Once here, you'll have a chance to adjust the time and the date. To change the time, simply tap above or below the number as shown. To increase the number, tap above the number. To decrease it, tap below the number. Adjust the date in the same fashion. Once done, hit the set button. Once done, you can hit the back arrow to get back to the main screen. Now your camera has been set up and you're ready to start to take images. If you're done with the camera, you can go ahead and shut it down. You can either hit the little on off switch that's on the screen in the upper left hand corner or go back to the switch in underneath the rubber cover and switch it back to the off position. Step two, let's learn about how to take images with the iStar camera. In the overall scanning workflow, the iStar camera will replace the image taking process that is typically done on the scanner. Simply scan then take the scanner out of the tri brac and replace the iStar system in the tri brac. Once in the tri brac, open up the rubber cover and push the on switch to the on position. Then go ahead and tap the screen on top of the camera and you'll see a little message appear. Go ahead and follow its instructions where you need to tap in the four corners. First the upper left, upper right, lower right, then lower left and then the camera will go ahead and boot up and be ready for use. Once booted up, go ahead and tap the camera icon where we'll go ahead and we can set some options. Since this camera has four lenses, the chances of you being in the image is quite high. So the iStar camera has this neat little function called the walk around function, where you're going to use this where it will only fire two of the lenses at a time so you can stand behind the camera so you are not in the image. Let's go ahead and tap this icon. 
this will take you to this screen here. You can change some of the settings if you wanted to. Just go ahead and tap in one of those, and you can use a left and right arrow and then a set, and then come back to the screen. Once you're ready to start to take images, go ahead and press the center camera button. This is the next screen. Tap the little arrow that is pointing to you. This way that it will go ahead and fire the two opposite camera lenses so you are not in the image. Once you're ready for images, you'll see the screen will turn green. Go ahead and tap it, and it will count down from five to start taking the images. The camera will continue to beep softly until all the images are taken. It will then instruct you to move to the opposite side of the camera and retap the screen. We'll go ahead and take the other two lenses to finish the 360 degree image. Once it is done completely beeping, it will tell you you can go ahead and move the iStar camera. Then you can take it out of the tri rack, put the scanner back, and advance to your next setup. Step three, let's talk about importing the iStar images into Cyclone. Once you have finished taking all the images, simply take the SD card out of the camera and put it in your computer so you can copy the files off. I've already done this. So if I go into Windows Explorer, I'll show you where everything is. So this is the folder that I put everything in. You can see here's the data from the scanner. So let's open that up. There's actually, this is the one we'll be using. So I've done three scans. Here's the images. The images that we'll be using is actually these top three. And notice how they're actually the nomenclature of the folder. This is actually the date. So year, month, day, and then the time. So this is why it's important to set up the date and the time on the scanner. So now we go ahead into Cyclone, go ahead and import the scan data as normal. Nothing different there. The data should import a little quicker, seeing how it does not have any image data from the raw data. So I'm going to go ahead and have Cyclone. I already have it open, and here's the data right here. You can see that I've already done a registration, so you can either do a registration without image or not. You can import these images later if you wanted to, or you can do them before you do the registration. To import them, simply right-click on one of the scan worlds and just say Import. And then browse to that folder that we showed you a minute ago. And we'll go into our first folder, seeing how this is our first scan. You want to browse and select this file. And then once you hit open, Cyclone will go ahead and import this image into Cyclone. You'll have to do this for the other two other scans. So you have to do them one at a time. Depending on how big the scan is, um, this could take anywhere from two to about five minutes per scan. Uh, so that's just keep something to keep in mind that there's a little bit of processing time in the back end. There, now it is done. Now go ahead and repeat this process for the other two scans. Step four. Last thing to do is apply the multi-images to the scan cloud. Okay, now that we have all of our iStar images imported into Cyclone, we can go ahead and look at one. We'll just look at this first one. You can see that it has now created a, an image. We can go ahead into our multi-image. You see the images look quite good. These scans were taken in our San Ramon office. You can see that uh, it looks into darker areas quite well. And if we went over into our third scan, I looked at that. If I turned around, this corner typically is very dark. This was done a little bit early in the morning. You can see that the iStar has lit this corner up quite well. Okay, so to apply them onto the scans, it's as simple as, uh, as just batch applying the uh, image. So we'll just right click on this and we'll just say batch apply the multi image. And seeing how it's a cube face now, it just process shouldn't take too long. It should take only about 30 seconds per scan. Uh, so it's pretty quick. 
So let's go ahead and that. And of course, once you hit batch apply, um, there is no progress bar. You just get the, the windows, I'm gonna say the circle of death, if you will, or the hourglass. Um, and then just, just wait, once you're done, your iStar images are put in. There's no matching, there's no manual matching, everything is done um, automatically.